a string of robberies, robberies and crime overnight. Now a murder investigation. A firm off 110 Highway 9 and Food Lion, three rival mics and ski masks. Uh, it was a 1032 that resulted in a 107. A 1032. That is police talk for a person with a gun. And a 107. That means someone is dead. Right now, police and U.S. Marshals are looking for three men. It all started at a food lion in Longs, and it continued to the Carolina Inn. That's in Loris, so and that's also where we find ABC 15's Madeline Montgomery for us tonight. And Madeline, witnesses tell you they do not think these men were strangers. Carolina Inn is just one of the places that the suspects came by, according to police. And the inn is fairly off the beaten path, which is why the manager thinks that the suspects have to be local. And a Long's farmer agrees. A glimpse into a deadly night. A heart song. This surveillance video shows two of the three men. They're inside the Carolina Inn pointing a gun at an employee. I send my husband often at night if I forget milk uh, to go get our baby milk. Um, that could have been my husband, my father, my mother-in-law, my parents. It could have been anyone. Police say before the inn, the suspects hit up the food line in Longs late last night. One man heads up to the door with a gun, demanding an employee open up. Meanwhile, the two others go up to a car in the parking lot. When the driver tries to get away, they shoot and kill the person. It's awful. Uh, that could have been anybody on the side of the road, anybody staying out of town. Our focus is on offering our Food Lion associates the support and care they and their families need during this incredibly difficult time. Officers tell us the men snag a gray Nissan and drive to Loris. On the way, they see someone's car broken down on Box Bay Road. That's when police say they robbed the driver. That brings us back to the Carolina Inn. Came in and rushed them with the guns. Raheem Riggins has worked at the inn almost 10 years and says nothing like this has ever happened. Uh, just going to give them the money because your, your life is not worth anything. Well, no money anyway. He says usually the door to the lobby is locked, but it wasn't on this night because someone took a smoke break. We'll be more, uh, I guess, up to date on locking that door when people go come in and out. So that nights like this don't happen again. Police say the suspects left here and went up to Chadburn, North Carolina, where they robbed a store. Live in Loris, Madeline Montgomery, ABC 15 News. Madeline, thank you. Now, the Horry County Coroner tells us we should find out who that victim was.